Okay guys, I'm getting ready to make a cinnamon swirl rum butt cake. So I'm going to use this Crusto's um, cinnamon swirl cake recipe. And I'm going to add uh, some rum extract to my cinnamon swirl. And I'm going to put it in a butt cake pan. So I've got my cake mix here. It calls for uh, two thirds cup of water. So I'm pouring that in. I'm gonna stir that up real good. If you guys can see this. Okay. Got my little contraption set up. I've made this cake many times before, but I've never put the rum extract in it. So that's gonna be something new. So stirring this till you get all those. Uh, you know, bumps get till it gets smooth. It'll take a minute. Do that. Keep stirring. Should have my mixer handy, but I don't. So, also need to mix in one egg. I almost forgot my egg. That'll help break down that. Oops, got a little piece of. Um, shell in there and you definitely don't want that in your cake so you don't want your cake to be crunchy no ma'am all right so stirring this in with the egg i guess the batter already has um butter and milk already in it because it didn't call for that so keep stirring now I'm going to now set this aside. My butt pan, I have it ready here. I'm going to spray it with some butter, nonstick butter. Even though this is uh, Teflon coated, I still want to make sure that my cake doesn't stick to the sides. So I'm spray this pan. It's good, pretty good. All sides. <clears throat> Okay, got that spray. I'm gonna put my little cinnamon packet here. <coughs> that stuff is strong. <coughs> okay, because I'm gonna get ready to pour that into my butt cake. Okay, I'm gonna take this butt pan. I'm gonna pour half of the cake mixture into it. Just half. That's about half. Okay, then I'm gonna spread that all the way around my pan. And hopefully this cake is going to rise as high as I want it to be. You can always add yeast if you want your cake to be super duper high. But I don't want my cake to be too super duper high. So I'm going to spread my little... It's coming out in clumps. So I've got to do it by hand. Do half of this. cinnamon swirl. Break up some of those clumps. Because I'm gonna put some of I'll put a little bit on top. Just a little. I'm gonna use two thirds of this in the middle. Two thirds of this bag. I'll say just a little for the top. Okay. Like that got your little cinnamon layer. This is actually probably cinnamon and brown sugar mixed together. The cinnamon smells so good. Okay, then I'm gonna take the rest of my cake batter, put it in here. I think I used too much on the bottom. But it's okay. Flip it over, it'll be on the top. Okay. And I'm going to just try to spread that around. Actually, when I flip it over, it's going to be on the bottom. Now, something else you can do as well is you can stir it, kind of stir it in. So it'll be.
mix throughout your cake. That's another trick I learned. So I'm not gonna use the rest of my cinnamon. Well, when I flip the cake over, I'm gonna put some cinnamon on it once it's done. I mean, the cinnamon mix, once it's done. And I'm gonna pour in a little rum. I forgot to add that earlier. This is clear rum, spice. I'm just gonna work that in. It's gonna end up being on the bottom of the cake. another layer of cake mix on here just because I don't like the way it's looking right now so I'm gonna add another layer of cake mix so hold on and uh, wait till I come back okay then I'm gonna pour my regular cake mix okay but baby that's my granddaughter talking in the background the parade is on with Thanksgiving Day and she's watching the parade so I'm only gonna pour half of this batter in here I'm making a video I'm gonna use that for another recipe, banana put, I mean a uh, peach cobbler. So this is the finished product. And like I said, I want to put some more cinnamon on there, but I'm gonna wait till it's done. And then I'm gonna put the cinnamon on top. And that's it for that recipe. Um, I'll show you when it's done. The res end results. And this and this is the finished product of the cinnamon swirl cake. Doesn't it look lovely? Straight out of the butt pan. And this is my peach cobbler that I was telling you I was gonna make with the leftover cake mix. It's gonna be delicious as well. And that's the pan I use for my bundt cake. Okay guys, recipes um, are on my YouTube page.